Spawn number 10, which was published in 1993, witnessed the greatest crossover event in comics in my opinion, where Spawn finds himself in a realm in which the greatest superheroes are imprisoned after they were sold by their creators. We last saw how Spawn fought Angela and forced her to retreat. She, however, left her dimensional lands behind. Spawn picked it up and pressed a button where he was teleported away and his power was completely depleted. Our book for today opens with Spawn recalling his past. He is Spawn, cause he shares all of his memories. He remembers his death and the devil which haunts his life. He also remembers his beautiful wife and her daughter. But unlike Spawn, he knows the alleys very well, which cut the city like scars that can never heal properly. He knows the tower in hell, where the violator dwells. He knows every level of the tower, except one, except level seven. Teleporting doesn't drain his powers as it drains spawns. He has to focus on a specific location, and he'll just find himself there. He finds a line of men, with their hands bound behind them. They are hooded and helpless. Spawn doesn't know them, but feels a connection to them, cause without them, he could not exist. He then finds DC and Marvel superheroes and villains imprisoned in this realm. Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, Thor, Flash, Juggernaut, Wolverine, Hulk, Green Lantern, and Wonder Woman. They are all in there. Heroes, Champions, Watchmen, Avengers, Defenders, Men of Steel, Women of Tomorrow, Gods of Thunder. They are trapped and screaming, and the hooded men are weeping. His power in this realm is unlimited, and doesn't drain him. He tries to free the heroes from their prison, but in vain. He can't help them. They ask him to take their powers. He can hear their voices in his head. They are the heroes born of radiation. They are born of the elements of earth, air, fire, and water. He can hear the voice of Superman filled with hope and great caring. He explained that his planet exploded, and he was sent to Earth as an infant. He asked Spawn to take his power. It's now, or never. Spawn absorbs the hero's powers, and feels like their power flows into him, surging through every limb. There is nothing compared to this. His arms are the Earth, the stars, the planets, and all the galaxies that ever were, or ever will be. All the power is concentrated in the tips of his fingers. He tries to destroy the prison and free the heroes, but he fails again. He then faces the mockery of blind justice in the form of the Violator. A woman's figure with the Violator's head, blindfolded and holding a set of scales. In one of the pans, all the wealth of the world, and in the other, a black heart awash in tears. The Violator wears a long dress made of dollar bills, and then... He is gone. Spawn is left with the hooded men weeping, and Superman behind the bars says one word, Doomsday. There is no fear in his voice. It's just a simple statement of fact. Suddenly, Cerebus the Aardvark interrupts Spawn and says it's time to leave, turning the colored panels into black, white, and gray. Spawn, however, says that he must save the heroes, but Cerebus says that Spawn can do that. These are the superheroes and the creators who sold them, and that's why they are helpless and weeping. Suddenly, Spawn finds himself in front of his house. They get into the big house, where Cerebus says that Spawn's wife will be back home soon. Her name is Wanda, and she's a beautiful high school teacher. In this realm, Spawn and Wanda have a beautiful daughter, whose name is Cyan. Cerebus says that Spawn's creator did not sell him like the other creators did with their heroes, before teleporting away, leaving Spawn alone with the baby. The book ends with Wanda coming back home, asking if Spawn had a nice day. Spawn says that he had a bad dream, but it's better not to think about it. The idea of the bound heroes and the hooded creators was a swipe against big-name comic publishing, where creators must sign over the rights of their creations to the company. Image Comics, however, allowed its creators to maintain the rights of their characters. Let me know what you think about this book, and don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Thanks for watching, and have a nice one.